In the deep, beneath chandeliers of coral, there lies a rusted ship. Do shipwrecks dream? Of course we do. <laughs> <laughs> Take me home to the underworld of the Thuar, the Donna, and the She, the place where my fathers live, my mother's love, my brother's run, my sister's dance. Take me home to the half-light where slow shadows stretch into evenings soft, and sleepy light reclines on leaf-abundant nooks and crannies. Take me home to play and splash in the river blessed by Sinan. Let me tap my delighted feet to the spinning tunes of flute, fiddle, and drum beat deep. Take me home to my dog that waits, to the place where generous bees fill our garden larders with wild honey, perfumed by heather and moonlight. Take me home to the world where we are old and young, wise and passionate, lost and found, filled with praise and love. <laughs> the art brush is quite light, and the bristles firm, though a little worn, do their job as well as ever in the right hands, patient hands sweeping gently. She noticed that not everything wanted to be swept up and away with the first or second passing of the brush. A leaf, a small pebble, a speck of paper remaining unmoved for no apparent reason when their like had offered no resistance. When she had swept up a small bundle, she would look back at the rebellious jetsam left behind, and it was her way on the third passing to contemplate each object that had refused to be moved. Yesterday, she picked up a stubborn leaf with great tenderness and carefully placed it in her pocket before she was led in to afternoon tea with the other patients, the difficult ones that didn't know why they were there and were afraid to stare. Yeah.